from the 29th to the 30th of June 2013, an eight-member delegation from the Bahamas will be represented at the Games in Curacao. Our team, Bahamas Athletics, has the story. Our Kermit Taylor met and interviewed Coach Kino Demerit, and he is the head coach for Team Bahamas CAC Age Group. He has been teaching for over 13 years and gives his input on the excellent standards of this particular team. Additionally, he talked about the staff complement consisting of coaches, managerial, and support staff. Coach Kino further shared on the excellence within the following athletes, our Bahamian future Olympians. In the category girls 11 and 12, we have Tyler Lightborn representing along with Kennedy Culmer. For boys 11 and 12, Blaze Darling and Tomasio Bullard. In girls 13 and 14, we have Donisha Anderson and Christia Colley. And boys 13 and 14, we have Mr. Branson Roll and Karen Bain. We're here with Coach Kino Demerit. He's now the duly appointed uh, head coach for the CAC Age Group Track and Field Champion, the Team Bahamas CAC Age Group. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing good. Um, it's just a pleasure, and I just thank God for this opportunity to be uh, selected head coach of the uh, CAC Age Group team that's heading to Curacao. Now, talk talk a bit about a little bit about your coaching background. Uh, I know you I know you have your you head up your own track club, but talk about your um, coaching background and also teams that you have traveled on. Well, personally, um, I'm the physical education teacher at uh, Temple Christian Elementary, um, head of department. Uh, I've been teaching for 13 years now. Um, I grew up in the Stratus organization where I coach um, and ran under Coach Stephen Murray, which he was like a mentor to me. Um, for the past two years, uh, I've started my own track club. Uh, basically the extreme at athletics and we we have been really doing well for the last two years. Um, I've been a part of the CUT team and the CAC age group team from 2005. During the trials um, we've had pretty I, th I thought the competition was pretty steep in all categories. Talk about the competition at the trials. Well, um, the comp like you said, the competition was really stiff. Um, we saw some really good performances from each age group. Uh, basically, in the under-13 division, uh, we had kids that actually surpassed marks that kids from two years ago, from the team two years ago, um, did. Uh, basically, in the girls' high jump, we had girls going over 1.4 meters in high jump, which in two years ago, the girls were jumping 1.29 so we had some really good performances we had the guys the, the guys them and high jump jumping 1.61 you know that level it shows that the level of competition has risen to a new level um, and the kids were geared up for this event from start to finish all right now you're heading on there of course you're going down by yourself you'll have you'll have a manager and one two other assistant coaches talk about the makeup team of your coaches and manager well, the, the makeup of the staff is, is a really strong staff and coaching staff, manager um, staff. Uh, we have Mrs. Cleota Kuali, who is the team manager and coach, um, along with myself, the head coach. We have Mr. Derek Wells from Grand Bahama, uh, who is doing an excellent job in Grand Bahama with the athletes down there. Um, and then we have Dr. Alvi Hanna, She's going as the team doctor slash chaperone. Teams traveled before. This is your, what, your second team? Well, no, this is basically my seventh team yeah. traveled since 2005. Okay. So um, on, going on these youth teams, I have been one of the, I, I would say, sticklers for the youth program which I have traveled with the majority of the youth programs from 2005. So. Basically, I know the ropes of traveling with youth, the youth um, teams. Let's talk about the team now. Let's run down the categories, uh, starting with the younger groups, boys, girls, and then go to the older, guy, older kids, boys, girls. Well, the, the CAC age group is made up of two categories, the 11-12s, which is basically the under-13s, and the 13-14, uh, which is the under-15s. Um, in the 11-12s, the, the team is made up of with girls, 
two, teen, two, two from each age group, two girls, two boys. Where we have Tyler Lightburn and Kennedy Kalma for the girls. Ty, Tyler Lightburn won our trials overall, which she did an excellent job amassing over 2,000 points. Um, Kennedy Kalma, which was a, a close second, and she also had over 2,000 points. So that there is already, we're saying, seeing that we're, we have a strong contingent in, that, in the girls' division. Um, in the boys, we have Blaze Darling and Tomasio Bullard from Grand Bahama. Um, those two boys are, are exceptional all around um, speed, jumps, uh, the distances. They did exceptional in the trials. Um, the under 15 division is made up of one of our, I would think, strong women. Uh, Donisha Anderson, um, she has been like a godsend this year. She has been on basically the Corifter squad this year, where she did an excellent job at the Corifters. Um, she is basically our senior captain mm -hmm. for the under 15 girls. You know, she, she had close to 3,000 points in the girls, which was an excellent job in, in just seven events, you know. So we're, we're looking for big things from her, along with, uh, I think, this, this, this young lady is like a dark horse, where she came out of nowhere. She's really an excellent athlete all around. She was superb in every event. Um, Krista Colley, that's the daughter of Mrs. Cleota Colley. Uh, and then we have, in the boy side, we have Bron Bron Bronson Roll. He was actually a member of this team two years ago when we traveled down to the Virgin Islands. So he has he knows the makeup of his co um, competition. He knows what, what is expected. So he is a, a true senior when it comes to the youth, youth, youth teams. And then we have Kyron Bean from Grand Bahama. You know, Kyron was one of the boys that led from start to finish at our tracks. So he did an excellent job, which he finished second at the trial, so it was an excellent job all around. When you, when I spoke to you a couple of days ago also, you also said that from all appearances, it sounds like you're going to have a pretty good uh, uh, friends and family uh, heading on there. Talk about, talk about what you expect in terms of uh, the crowd, the following crowd. Well, um, basically from what the team makeup would we have, um, we have a lot of the parents who was um, showed interest in traveling with the team. So with, with that level of interest, we expecting a, a great number of parents to travel, which would be a boost for the kids. You know, them seeing a familiar face in the crowd or hearing that voice, um, someone calling their name. So it would be a boost with them actually traveling with the team. Um, the, the parents are as much excited as the kids. They are ready to go um, and we're just waiting for competition. Okay, the final question for you now. To, to get to Curacao, uh, which route are you going? Are you going through Miami? How, how, how are you getting there? Well, basically, uh, like I said, we have a team manager who is actually doing all the arrangement, but what we have a tentative uh, route of going through the U.S. We're going through Miami and flying into Curacao from there. So, but we're, we're also looking at some alternate routes in terms of going through Panama into Curacao. And this is what, this is just a weekend meet, right, a Friday and Saturday? Yeah, it's just a two-day meet, So, but we, the team leaves on the 27th of July and we return on the 1st of Jan, uh, uh, the 27th of June, and we return on the 1st of July. Okay, well, it's at Bahamas Athletics plan to be trackside. I'm not quite sure I worked it out as yet, but it's our plan to be trackside, so don't be surprised if you see Bahamas Athletics trackside documenting this trip also. Well, hey, that would be good, basically, because we know that there will be footage, there will be, um, there will be uh, results that is headed back to the Bahamas as we compete. So it would be good for people in the Bahamas to know what, it, what is going on in, in, at the meet and where the kids are standing in, in their pers uh, prospective uh, divisions. Well, congratulations on, head, on the position and all the best. All right, thank you, sir. Bahamas Athletics, Fast Track News, number one in the field.